Welcome to the Fast Fix channel, everyone. My name's Jason, and today we're looking at a snowblower, and we've got something going on here because the cord won't pull, and we don't know exactly what's wrong with it. Uh, we could either have a problem with the assembly here, or we could have something a little more easy, which would be compression lock in the cylinder. So we're gonna take a look at this, and hopefully this will provide you guys with a quick solution if you've got the same issue. Before we do anything though, let's make sure we've got oil in this machine. This has been sitting around for two to three years, so I was told. And yeah, we do have some oil, obviously needs to be changed, but that decreases the likelihood of the engine actually being seized up, so we probably have something else going on. Let's try the easiest thing first. Let's remove the spark plug to see if that solves our problem. We could just have a compression lock issue. That would be great. So all we really need to do is remove our spark plug boot and come in and remove the spark plug. Can you say carbon? Wow, I'm surprised this thing ran ever. With the spark plug out, we can test and see if it was just a simple matter of compression lock. Nope, something else. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and pull off the uh, pull cord starter here and see what's going on. Now, I was sort of hoping that we just have a problem with our starter here, but this thing pulls just fine, so we've got something else going on. So at this point, we need to really spin the engine. We need to figure out if this engine is froze up or if something else, maybe have some interference going on somewhere. But really, I'd like to know if this motor spins. Um, so what we're gonna do, we've got a nut right here and we can just spin that, so let's try it. And look at that, I mean, it spins pretty easily. So it was a little hard to start, so I'm curious if it just kinda needed a little bit of help, uh, spin it around, get some oil flowing, and uh, maybe that'll do it. So let's hook our pull uh, starter back up, see what happens. Now that we've got the pull cord reinstalled, we can give it college try number two. Look at that. Spins easily. I think the only thing that happened with this was just due to time, uh, the motor had frozen up just a tad bit and we needed to knock it loose with a ratchet and socket. And once that was done, I think it's free to spin now. So all we need to do is replace oil, gas, spark plug. This thing should fire. Hey, if this video helped you, please help me and hit like and subscribe. It makes a world of difference. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day.